Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today's topic is reducing fractions to simplest forms. Now, when you're reducing a fraction to its simplest forms, you are going to be dividing the bo both the numerator and the denominator by the same number in order to get your fraction that is in the simplest forms. That means it can no longer be divided, and it is the smallest fraction that you can get out of that original fraction, okay? So what I mean by that is, like, let's say you have the fraction 16 over 48, okay? Now this fraction can be reduced and we have to find the smallest or the simplest form of this fraction and we do that by dividing. Now how, what number do we divide this by? Well, you have to divide it by any number that both of these numbers are divisible by. So you need to find a number that both 16 and 48 are divisible by. But now here's a trick. We know that both 16 and 48 are even numbers. So how about we try dividing by the number 2? Because remember, any even number can be divisible by 2, okay? So 16 divided by 2 and 48 divided by 2. Now we know that 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8 and 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. Now we have 8 over 24. We can do this further by dividing by 2. So 8 divided by 2 and 24 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4 and 24 divided by 2 equals 12. So now we get 4 over 12. Now 4 over 12 can also be simplified further because we can divide both of these numbers by 2. So if we were to do 4 divided by 2 and 12 divided by 2, we would get 2 over 6 because 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now, what if we, can we do this further? Well, let's find out because if we do by 2, because remember 2 and 6 are both even numbers. So 2 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now we get 1 over 3rd, and 1 over 3 is the simplest form that we can get because there is no other number that both 1 and 3 are divisible by. That means the fraction 16 over 48 simplified equals 1 over 3rd. So both of these fractions are equivalent fractions because 3 times 16 can give us 48 and 1 times 16 can give us 16, right? So both of these are equivalent fractions and now we know the simplest form for the fraction 16 over 48. So that's that for reducing fractions to simplest forms. I hope you guys understood this topic. If you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or for the coming up topics, please feel free to visit our website at browsersbackup.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!